The man at the center of the controversy over a hidden Atlanta dump site dating back to the 1960s says he believes the city punished him for exposing the hidden waste. Yeah, Jerry Brow says he felt boxed in by the city and ultimately agreed to sell four investment properties located near the dump site, now known as Baby Gun Club. Uh, senior Fox 5 IT reporter Dale Russell has been on this story, joins us now with the latest. Dale? And it's a story, Russ, decades in the making because that's when this all started. City officials say they needed Jerry Brow's land to monitor waste from the now closed gun club landfill and that baby gun club dump site. Well, Brow didn't like it and says he would never have bought the properties in the first place if he had known about the decades old dump site that sat hidden near his land. I'd have to apologize to, to him uh, for the way that he was his property was handled. That was inexcusable and that should not have happened. Last December, Atlanta City Councilman Michael Bond offered a public apology to a landowner who discovered municipal waste had been dumped on his property decades before he bought it, rendering it worthless. The apology is a joke. That landowner was out of the country when Michael Bond's apology aired on TV. Jerry Brow has returned to Atlanta and he wants to set the record straight. You're looking at a house right here. They stole this from me. What other choice do I have but to turn over? My own attorney said one way or another, they're going to take your property. A Fox 5 I-Team investigation discovered the existence of Baby Gun Club landfill buried deep in internal city memos, letters, engineering reports, and in two lawsuits that were quietly filed and then settled. Were they dumping the whole time you lived there? Yeah. Eyewitnesses told us they saw the dumping. Aerial photographs from the 60s and 70s showed the cleared off dump site and internal records documented how who knows what was dumped on the land for years before strict environmental laws were in place. Could it become worse? Yes. You don't know what's there. That's the big concern to everybody. Jerry Brow bought multiple properties in Northwest Atlanta with an eye toward the future all in walking distance of the Beltline's Quarry Park. He didn't know about Baby Gun Club landfill, and he definitely didn't know Baby Gun Club waste was buried under one of the properties he bought. According to city records, the city began operating an unpermitted landfill on the site in the late 1960s. Permits were not required by the state at that time. Are these valuable? Extremely. Because of what's coming? Because of the Quarry Park that's coming up. Ultimately, the city began the process to negotiate and potentially condemn four of Jerry Brow's properties. One ordinance said the land was needed to monitor waste from the closed gun club landfill and the open dump site known as Baby Gun Club Landfill. Brow sued and accused the city of maintaining a non-compliant landfill and illegal dumping on private property. In a settlement, the city gave Brow $267,000 for his properties and for damages and business losses. The property appraiser wrote just one of Jerry's parcels would have been worth $92,000, but due to reported municipal waste deposited on site, they set the value at only one dollar. We're talking about a government that's in place to protect the people. It did just the opposite. They've done something to do something that harms the people. Now, city spokesperson said the city did not condemn Mr. Brow's property, just purchased it as a part of a settlement to his lawsuit. In a statement to Fox 5, the EPD said it found no evidence of any environmental hazard at Baby Gun Club dump site, and the EPD continues to monitor the city's methane gas readings and water samples, which everyone around there is glad to see. All right, a very changing area there, too, as you know. Dale, thanks. The number